Hi, and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal News Show and Community Update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today, we're welcoming four Belmont High School students to talk about a new show they are producing in partnership with Belmont Media Center. Their show, The Culture Conversation, is to be watched on BMC channels and website, and is a production of two Belmont High School clubs, the Asian American Club and the Arab and South Asian Club. They are here with us, and hello and welcome to the show. Hello, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, hi guys, thank hello. you so much for having us. Hello. Uh, please, if you can each other introduce it and tell us what are your roles. Okay, I can start. Hi, um, my name is Dahlia Liu and I am the president of the Belmont Asian American Club. Uh, hi, my name is Ivan Lee and I am one of the vice presidents of the Belmont Asian American Club. Hello, I'm Dobbin and I'm the other vice president for the Asian American Club. Hi guys, my name is Mediam. I am the co-founder and president of Arab and South Asian Club at Belmont High School. So you have produced a first episode of the Culture Conversation. Can you tell us the purpose of the show? Yeah, so to talk a little bit about the purpose of this show, um, we wanted to film a show that was completely run by Belmont High School students to shine a light on our perspective of um, like racial and cultural differences and uh, activities that we've noticed in Belmont specifically. So in our first episode, we have been discussing um, this in the context of the school curriculum. So anything from like K through 12. Great, and how did you come up with the idea? Well, we collaborated with, um, I believe one of the people, I believe her name is Julie Wu. I really hope I'm pronouncing her last name right or that I'm getting it right. But um, so she approached us, she kind of gave, gave us this idea and um, we've previously collaborated, my club has previously collaborated with AAC. And so we thought, you know, um, we want to not only share our own perspective as students, but also broaden this idea of what it meant to be Asian, of what it meant to be Arab, of what it meant to be South Asian. And so from then on, we kind of went along with it and we just sort of came up with ideas. We talked to people about it. We came up with various topics. And in terms of the conversation itself, we wanted it to feel as natural and as authentic as possible. So we really just let ourselves talk and let that thing be, you know, what it, whatever it ended up being, whatever the talk ended up being. Great. What do you, why do you think it's important to talk about culture perspectives? Well, I think it's very important to talk about cultural perspectives, differences and similarities, because all of the times um, when we think about Belmont, we think uh, it's a very diverse place compared to uh, some of the other towns in this area. Um, and so I think that through having these conversations, which sometimes people are not comfortable having them, um, we can grow to know each other better and also to know the people around us better. Yes. And why you found that you have in common with each other? Uh, quite a lot. We found, sadly, that um, Sometimes in the school curriculum, for example, we found that maybe our background or culture was not as represented. Um, for example, like things like we've had um, in elementary school, we used to do like these culture days where we'd bring in foods from our cultures to school to eat together. And sometimes we've noticed that like our cultural foods were not um, as popular as say like the sugar cookies or something. Yeah. So in the first episode, um, Miriam is the host, Siobhan and Dahlia are the guests, and you talk about the Belmont Public School curriculum and diversity. What are your hopes while sharing your personal experience as you did this first episode? Uh, one of our main hopes is to create a conversation that allows teachers and allows educators to be aware of um, maybe some aspects of the curriculum that are lacking and allow them to advance on it and add to it so that students all across the board, no matter their background, no matter their ethnic come up, 
can look at the curriculum, can look at the lessons that they're learning and really see themselves and really learn more about themselves, more than, um, you know, what their parents are telling them or whatever their families are telling them about their own identity and also feel represented and feel like their school community really recognizes them and hears their voice and is able to um, really like talk to the classmates and to the school community about their background and their different cultures in a well-informed and respectful manner. Yeah, and just to add on, I think our, one of our goals is just simply to just to bring awareness about how diverse the Asian community really is. And oftentimes when we look at our curriculum, it's often centered around a specific area of the world and not exactly uh, allowing for other cultures to be uh, recognized. And I think uh, by having the show, we're able to, I guess, again, bring about awareness of like the situation and uh, make others feel a bit more connected with what they're learning. Right, right. And I know many of your family's backgrounds are different. Now you are sharing a story about uh, growing up in Belmont. So what are you trying to accomplish with that? What, what do you want to see the, the art audience to see? I think what we want the audience to see is that um, even though Belmont is widely known as like a very diverse place and very welcoming for a lot of different people, that there's still places that we can sort of improve on. There's places that haven't been really worked on as much diversity wise. And we want to sort of expose that and hopefully use that as a way to let others know that there's still work to be done in order to make this world sort of more equitable for everyone. Yes, and welcoming. Are you trying to invite other um, culture experiences? I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh, at least for me personally, I actually didn't grow up in Belmont. I moved here in the summer of 2017. So uh, my only information, my only like memories and interaction with the community has been from 2017 up until now. And half of that has actually been halted because of COVID. So I sort of am able to gratefully offer like another perspective, having grown up outside in a different world community that was, dare I say, a little bit more diverse than Belmont um, in terms of offering like, you know, many different ethnicities. And so I'm sort of able to bring in like a new perspective to the conversation and say like, you know, I grew up here. This is what I saw. I also like sort of spent some time here. This is what I saw and just sort of share like my um, point of view. Uh, now let's talk about the show. How was the experience to start a TV show? It was definitely a new experience. Um, I think aside from Maria, most of us have not had much experience being on camera, um, doing a lot of public speaking, um, but it was really a great experience. Like everyone at the Bowen Media Center was very supportive and very helpful um, and learning how to produce our own show and film everything was really eye-opening as well. Awesome. And what do you see in the future? How many episodes you're looking for? What is the ideas that you're thinking you will do? Um, we much? currently have plans to only uh, to do two episodes right now. However, we are hopeful that the, um, the next generation of AAC officers and um, Arabs and South Asian um, officers would be able to help continue this sort of TV show in order to keep this going as long as possible. We already have plans for a second episode that will be um, focused on the topic of um, our experience growing up Asian American in Belmont. Um, and we were thinking of maybe even inviting like students from other towns to contrast their experiences growing up Asian in other towns. Great. Thank you for joining uh, our new show. And I wish you the best and continue uh, sharing about the diversity. It's a great topic. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you so much for having us. Thank, Thank you. you for having Thank us. Thank you. And see you all next time. This is Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar.